Hi, so I'm William Hederman uh, and I'm living in County Clare. I've come up for the Extinction Rebellion uh, demo today. Uh, I'm with a group in Clare called Future Proof Clare and we're campaigning against um, Shannon LNG. So I'll give you a bit of background. As many of you will know, Ireland uh, introduced a law last year in 2017 to ban fracking which was a huge victory for the anti-fracking movement and for the environmental movement. Um, and Ireland was one of only a, is, is one of only a handful of countries that has done that. But now the big, big gas and big oil and the Irish state has come up with an Irish solution to an Irish problem. We've banned fracking, so how can we get, uh, how can we get in on Trump's um, fracking gas boom? So uh, this year, a year after Ireland banned fracking, on board Planola, that's Ireland's planning authority, um, gave permission for the company to import fracked gas from the US. The project is called Shannon LNG. It would be on the Shannon Estuary, just, just across the water from where I live in Clare. It would be in Bally Longford in North Kerry. And uh, LNG is liquefied natural gas. It involves it's a, it's hugely, a hugely, very uh, intensely heavy industrial process uh, of condensing gas to one six hundredth of its volume and, and cooling it down. Uh, and then putting it into ships. It's a relatively new technology that can transport gas uh, across oceans. The gas, crucially, is coming from the United States where fracking, and it's, it's fracked gas. So if, if Ireland goes ahead with this project, Ireland will be uh, contributing to huge harm that's been caused to um, communities in the United States that are, resi that are resisting fracking. Uh, fracking, uh, as many of you will know, is, is, is very harmful to human health and the environment. It causes pollution of water supplies, air pollution, earth tremors, and um, it's a huge contributor to climate change. And actually, it's contributed to climate change is, is the key thing I want to talk about today. And, and that's, why we're, uh, that, that's, that's why we're here at Extinction Rebellion. Um, uh, carbon dioxide, uh, we hear a lot about carbon dioxide and that's because there's a huge amount of it being pumped into the atmosphere. We don't hear as much about methane, but methane, uh, methane is, is, is basically natural gas. When you hear about natural gas, which we're told is a transition fuel, um, it really isn't a transition fuel. And there's quite new science out on this, uh, uh, which, which the EU and the Irish state hasn't really caught up with. Uh, methane is, in the, in the first 20 years after it's released into the atmosphere, methane is actually 86 times more harmful than carbon dioxide as a, as a climate polluting or a greenhouse gas. Um, and uh, the, 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 the first 20 years are crucial because that's when we need to really take radical action. Uh, you were asking me about the IPCC report, which came out uh, just over a month ago in early October. That's the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Uh, and it has called, what it, what it basically said in simple terms is that um, uh, we have even less time than we thought we had. We need even more drastic uh, action to prevent climate breakdown. Uh, we need a huge societal shift. Basically, a, a huge system change is needed. Uh, and what the Irish state is doing on board Planol, and it's also government policy to allow a new Shannon, a, a new LNG import terminal, they're going in exactly the, the wrong direction because this terminal uh, will lock. Uh, it will lock Ireland and help to lock the European Union, lock us into fossil fuel dependency for, for decades to come. So to go back to carbon and methane, um, we don't hear, even though, as I said, methane is 86 times more harmful uh, as a greenhouse gas, we don't hear much about it because it's not normally released into the atmosphere uh, intentionally. It come, cows emit it uh, and other, other ruminant uh, animals, uh, but natural gas, methane, it, it leaks and the what scientists are discovering, and um, I'll mention this name a couple of times, Professor Robert Howarth of Cornell University, uh, and actually you can look up more on tinyurl.com slash climate methane. Um, and he, uh, Robert Howarth is a leading climate scientist, um, and his science is backed up and peer reviewed. And uh, what he is pointing to is that fracking is, there's been a huge increase in methane emissions in the past 10 to 15 years and that coincides with a huge fracking boom particularly in the last 10 years in North America. Uh, the, the industry itself, the fracking industry, uh, admits to about a 3% um, 3 leakage rate just in the fracking process. Fracking is a very heavy intense process of uh, pumping water and chemicals and sand deep into the ground and releasing gas from shale rock. 
Uh, so there's leakage at that stage, but according to Robert Howarth and other scientists, the leakage rate is actually higher than that, and you can find more, as I said, at that tinyurl.com uh, slash climate methane. But, but there's a much, it actually gets worse, because uh, if you were to frack gas and supply it to somebody down the road in the US, that would be bad enough. But actually what's gonna happen with Shannon LNG is the gas will be transferred from one uh, means of transport to another several times. It'll be fracked, it'll be processed, it'll be sometimes it's shipped, uh, transported in trucks, goes into pipelines, it'll go to the coast, it'll be condensed into LNG, that's liquefied natural gas, and then it'll go in a ship, they're the biggest ships in the world, and these will come into uh, the Shannon Estuary if this project goes ahead. Um, and uh, then it, at, at, in North Kerry, at the Shannon LNG plant, it would be re-gasified. And at every stage of the process, it will then go into pipelines and go into the, the Irish uh, gas uh, network. But at every stage of the process, there is leakage. So basically, if you, if you want a soundbite, basically, if, we wanted, uh, if you wanted to actually come up with the most climate polluting way of accessing fossil fuels, this would be it, to frack it in another continent and transport it by ship to Ireland. Um, it, it would actually be, it would be less harmful to the climate uh, to uh, build a new coal-fired power station in Ireland. Not that I'm suggesting we should do that, obviously. So, um, so this is gonna lock us in, and uh, the Shannon LNG plant uh, has a, a regasification, you know, its capacity is double the amount of gas that Ireland consumes, and our consumption is, is declining, but, um, or it, it, it needs to decline rapidly, but this is actually going to uh, double our capacity. So what, what is actually planned is to export gas from Ireland to, um, to the UK and it could be exported on to Europe. So it's helping to lock, uh, and it's actually EU policy to build new, the EU policy is going in exactly the wrong direction. Um, they're not taking note of the data science and they want to uh, build new LNG terminals around Europe to, uh, you know, and they're using the security of supply argument and we don't want to be dependent on Vladimir Putin. Uh, so they're building these new terminals. So that's, we're trying to stop that in, in, uh, in, in Clare and in Kerry and there are campaign groups around Ireland and, and in other countries. Uh, and that's why I'm here today at Extinction Rebellion. So, so um, there is a, a court case at the moment to come back to um, on board Planola, which I mentioned earlier, the Irish Planning Authority, on board Planola, uh, initially granted planning permission in 2008. Um, the, the project didn't go ahead, it's quite a long story, but uh, the original investor, uh, Hess, pulled out uh, after a row or a disagreement with the Irish uh, energy regulator. The project was thought to be dead, but it's been revived and the 10-year planning permission expired this summer in 27, 2018. And on board Planola had a very, a very shady, very controversial um, process whereby they had very very limited no effectively no public consultation they just rubber stamped uh, gave an extension to the planning permission for five years which is quite shocking to experts and um, environmentalists uh, so there's currently a high court case taken by fr the, the friends of the Irish environment and they are um, they've, they've been granted a judicial review in the high court and they're gonna be back in the high court uh, on the 29th of January next year um, so all our eyes are, on, all eyes are on, on that process to see what happens. In the meantime, um, what campaigners and various organisations are, are looking for is, uh, you know, a commitment that Ireland from the Irish government, that the Irish government comes out with a policy. The Irish government has no policy about importing frack gas, even though we, it, the state's official position is, is not to allow fracking in Ireland. So uh, it's a huge hypocrisy there. Uh, and there is, there is a policy it seems, it's kind of hard to find out about government policy, but um, when a new investor was announced for Shannon LNG earlier, uh, just during the summer, that with the quite uh, ominous name, um, New Fortress Energy, it's an American company, and they, uh, uh, when they announced, when Shannon LNG announced that they were coming on board, uh, Leo Varadka, our Taoiseach, our Prime Minister, and uh, the then Minister for um, Climate Action and Environment, um, uh, Dennis Nocton, uh, they were in the press release. Their quotes from, uh, you know, th their support was acknowledged in the press release. So the Irish government supports this. So we need a change in policy with the Irish government. Uh, and um, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll direct people to, yeah, Future Proof Claire on Facebook or on Twitter. So what, what are you currently doing in terms of trying to build for this? Well, actually, just recent developments in the campaign, it's, it's really growing and building the campaign at the moment. As I said, Future Proof Claire is, is the group in County Clare. Um, in uh, the, Leitrim County Council, uh, last week 
just two weeks ago, uh, passed a motion supporting the campaign against Shannon LNG. So it's great to get solidarity from other parts of the country. Leitrim, of course, is where the anti-fracking movement largely uh, began in Ireland. Uh, but also Uplift.ie, uh, which has um, over 100,000 members in Ireland. Uplift.ie, the campaigning organisation, has got behind the campaign. They have an email your TD um, action at the moment. So if you if you go to up if you look for uplift.ie and uh, email your TD about Shannon LNG, it's also on the it's it's on the uh, Future Proof Clare Facebook page. That's the email your TD uh, about about is a template email that you can adjust. So. Um, um, in terms of extinction resistance, I mean, it kind of set up hastily in Ireland, I think about 10 days ago, to, to try and do something in the same day as uh, London. There's five bridges blocked in London this morning. Uh, do you think it would make sense for it to look at making this proposed LNG plant a major focus of action in the future? Uh, no, I think so, yeah. I think, uh, I've, as you say, it's all happened very quickly. Um, and uh, But th there are demands which... It, um, Extinction Rebellion Ireland has a, a list of demands, and I would hope uh, it doesn't specifically, so far, I think, um, uh, isn't calling, it's, it's calling for an end to new fossil fuel, uh, oil and gas exploration and pipelines and refineries, but actually, you know, we need to actually, uh, we need to be specific and say no new import terminals, because uh, this isn't actually a refinery, the industry will say, well, it's, I mean, it's not a refinery technically, so uh, we need, we need an end to, we need to have no more one of our demands would be no more, no, no new fossil fuel infrastructure in Ireland.